Hi, welcome to the third in a uh, session so far in our lockdown uh, private tutorials. Um, so far, in the first week we did, uh, just to remind you, we did the colour study and still life um, using the primary colours in the colour wheel. Uh, last week we did room with a view, which was a view from uh, a window obviously in your house, because I presume that's where everybody is. Um, and again, looking, it was mainly to work on the uh, colours you see, as well as an introduction to, I suppose, the composition, choosing a window with a nice view. Um, this week I want to look more into actual composition. Right, so here's a quote. Here on the edge of the river, the motifs are very plentiful. The same subject seen from different angle gives a subject for study for the highest interest and so varied that I think I could be occupied for months without changing my place, simply by bending a little to the left and the right. That quote was from Paul Cezanne. Now I think the point of the quote is that in general, if we go and look at a view, so we go for a walk or something to a beach or a river, um, there's just everywhere we look, there's views and different slight adjustments and it just goes on forever. So why do we choose particular views to, views to paint? Okay, so I'm not just going to give you a straightforward answer. I think one of the things is we have to kind of work that out for ourselves. So in today's uh, lesson, I'd like to look at composition and look at views and work out why or what are the most attractive views to us to paint. So. I'm going to email you in the morning uh, four um, photos of pretty similar views. Now the point is they're not cropped, so I want you to think about how you're going to crop them and which parts of the views are successful and which parts aren't. So when you get these uh, views, these, these uh, photos, JPEGs in your email. Um, first of all, I want you to think about, or one thing we've done before, I want you to try again, and I, some of you might not have done it, is where you, you produce little micro views of the, um, so, you, so you, you sketch parts of the photograph and put them in little boxes and experiment which ones work and which ones don't. You can adjust the horizon, where the, the sort of major objects are, or the shadows and things like that. Um, so that's what I kind of want you to do first. So when you've found the view you like, then I want you to paint it. But first of all, before you paint it, take the view that you've done in this small micro view sketch and blur it up to the bigger sheet, to the paper you're using, or the board or canvas or whatever you're working on. Um, and then look at the, the basic geometric shapes within that view and see and reproduce those on the larger scale. So again, if there's a tree, which obviously I know there is a tree in the, um, or there's some trees in the photos, I don't want you to start drawing the details of the trees, I want you to draw them as shapes. And uh, if there, well, there's a river, I want you to draw the shape of the river um, and things like that. So you take your micro view, which you've worked out, which is successful for you and you want to paint and then blow it up to the bigger scale. So when you've then drawn this up uh, and to a larger sheet or paper, canvas, whatever, then I want you to go back over the last two weeks and think about the colours that are there. So there's three angles or three points for this session and they are to look at the views I've sent you, choose which view you might prefer, then look at that view again as a JPEG or on your screen uh, or if you print it and then break that view down into little micro uh, landscapes then once you've chosen which is successful for you, bearing in mind the, the shapes and the, um, the horizon, etc., 
and then blow that up into your bigger piece ready for painting and then paint it using the rules or the things we've learnt over the last two or three weeks with the uh, colour wheel. Um, yes, uh, for, actually before I finish, I will email all this to you again and explain it and tomorrow mainly it'll be done via email. What I mean by saying I'll do it mainly via email is that the I'll send images via email and some written explanations at various times. Again, like the weeks before, they'll be time coded, so uh, at 10.30, maybe 10.45, etc. I'll see how that goes in the morning. But because there'll be quite a bit of explanation, I think it'd be easier for me to do this in an email rather than WhatsApp. But the WhatsApp um, will be used for anything else like communication and you know a bit of verbal stuff and you know uh, and just general chat. So I will try and do email prompts as we go through the morning and backed up with a bit of WhatsApp chat. And uh, there you go. Anyway, I hope you're all well and I hope uh, you've enjoyed the nice weather. Um, and I look forward to having you know sort of doing something again tomorrow morning. And uh, take care.